Babe, this is your daily reminder from the universe. As soon as he makes one wrong move, drop his ass. We have zero tolerance for low effort, low value, low vibrational behaviors, especially from men. Let me tell you something. Last night, I was supposed to go on a date with a multimillionaire. And you know what? I wasn't feeling it. He picked a venue an hour away. He wouldn't send me a car. He didn't care about how I was going to get there. Zero consideration from this man. And you know what? I was like, I'm not down for that. So I said, hey, I'm not feeling this anymore. So goodbye. And I immediately blocked him. And you know what happened after that? I went to a bar by myself to have a drink because I got all dressed up. Not for nothing. I got all dressed up and cute for myself. And I was going to waste the night. I get to the bar and lo and behold, there's another, well, there's a bunch of lovely, lovely men out there, clearly very well to do. And one of them buys me my drinks, multiple drinks, buys me a steak dinner, a bottle of wine, and takes me out to multiple other bars for nightcaps and then asks me out, asks when he's going to see me again next, then make sure that I get home safe and spends the entire evening complimenting me and telling me how beautiful, feminine, fun, warm, and amazing that I am. And now see, that's how it's done. Seriously, when you close one door, the universe will take that as a sign that you're ready for something better, and it's going to open up an even better door for you. If a man doesn't put in effort, a lot of times women automatically think the problem is with him. Okay, so we have to do a little reality check here and we can all be humble in this respect because that gets us what we actually want. Not everyone offers equal value at all points. Okay, you have to know that, right? If you're going for a guy who makes $10,000 and you're going for a guy who makes a billion dollars, who do you think is harder to get? All other things being equal. That's obvious, right? If a man's going for a supermodel, all things being equal, or a woman who is 400 pounds, right? And has never talked to a guy before, who's going to be harder to get? right? These aren't disses. These aren't criticisms. This is reality, right? And we can all change our station, right? The poor guy can become a billionaire. That girl can start to diet and take care of her health a little bit more seriously, right? There, These are the changes. So if I see in some of the things, oh, this guy has stopped initiating after the date and girls are like, well, drop his number, go for someone else. Relative value matters. Are you going for a guy who you think you're shooting up for? People will then say, oh, no, there's no such thing. Of course there is. There is, right? And you don't have to do that. If you want to stay in a world where a guy, you can always uphold the rule he should be pursuing in the right way in the typical traditional sense, then stay in the, in the same lane, right? And then you can judge him and back away. But if you feel you haven't shown your value yet or that he offers more, you either got to up your value or you have to give more, right? Just like if a guy's shooting up, I had to start this platform because I need to break into the world because I know my competition, right? So it's the same type of thing. Don't see it as a rejection of your self-esteem. It's an opportunity to develop it further. Low effort dudes who are attracted to your low maintenance should be fended off and scared away and they should be actively barked at. You should be like, Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. every single time they come near you. And this is not about dating as many people as you possibly can. This is about preserving your energy and keeping you away from men who have nothing to offer you and who only want to take from you or who benefit off you not making yourself a priority. People who do not have your absolute best motherfucking interest in mind for you do not need to be in your life. I don't even care if that's a man. If you're pitching yourself as a low maintenance girlfriend, if you're pitching yourself as a low maintenance bestie, if you're pitching yourself as a low maintenance anything and you're attracting people who want to give as little as possible to you in all facets of your life, no one celebrates the low maintenance person. They just go to them if they absolutely have to, to meet their bare minimum of needs. So if you ever have the opportunity to pitch yourself as low maintenance or you see one approach you, don't be shy. Anybody who's hyped off the fact that you're low maintenance needs to feel weird about expressing that. Ladies, if his energy is anything less than vivaciously enthusiastic about you, dump him. Men go after what they want, so if a man wants you, he will do anything reasonably within his power to have you, and to make sure you know it. If a man truly wants you, you don't even have to like him back or even be nice to him for him to want to show you his affection. We all see how men act for women who don't even give them the time of day, all the DMs, the gifts, the texts, and you want to accept less from a man who claims to want you? The way I could never. Like I said, if a man wants you, you will know it. You will not have to analyze his texts or message the group chat, try to figure out what his Instagram captions mean. The minute a man got you doing all that, you're doing too much and it's time to go. Matter of fact, next time you meet a low effort man, disappear on him immediately. It's the honeymoon phase and this is the vibe he's bringing when he's supposed to be showing you his best self. I'm sorry, girl, but that man don't like you. And he don't deserve an explanation as to why you're gone. I bet if he took two seconds to think, he'd know why. Honestly, he probably won't even care because he didn't want you for real anyway. 
I know all that sounds harsh, but think about any time you have given a man a chance that was not enthusiastic about you. How did that end? You were basically the one pursuing him and he broke up with you anyway, didn't he? Ladies, love yourself because this ish could get ugly. That's why it's F is get money. We must not be in such desperate need for a relationship that we're going to take just whatever crap gets flung our way. The actual problem in dating a guy who's low effort is that he's going to continue being low effort throughout your whole relationship. So down the line, he's not going to start doing, you know, these grand romantic things for you. Probably not. So don't be that girl who's five years in a relationship and starts complaining. You never do anything special for me. We never go anywhere. We just watch TV all day. Yeah, don't be that girl. S either set the standard or don't complain. I'm going to be a mom for a second. I'm going to give you some advice. Do not ever entertain these types of men. If they're saying some shit like I'm more of a walk in a coffee before a dinner date kind of lad. Congratulations, you're saying that you're cheap. If they can't be generous on a first date, they're never going to be generous. There's so much more that goes into generosity besides just paying for things as well. They are telling you who they are at the start of a relationship. And you don't have to entertain these types of men. If you want to just decide that you're going to be a girl who only goes on dinner dates, you will only go on dinner dates. Set your standards higher than that. If they can't even put an effort into the first date, like what kind of effort is going to go into it? Like a, in the grand scheme of a whole relationship. And all of the low effort men will sit and cry about this. Like genuinely, who gives a fuck what they think? They can complain all they want. It's not going to change the fact that there's still plenty of men out there who are willing to treat you like a princess and be generous with you. A good way to weed out low effort men from high effort men is just by examining or observing the kind of date that they bring you on on the first date. Like I shared in my last video and the reason why you need to stop accepting drink dates or coffee dates as actual dates is because it's not just about the money. It's about the amount of effort that a man is putting into the date. A coffee date requires zero effort. A coffee date requires very little planning. I could literally go on Google Maps, pick any coffee shop and bam, like that's it. That's it's easy. Zero effort, low effort. It's not an actual date because of that. A dinner date, on the other hand, or a date that requires any sort of planning, it could be more creative than that. Like maybe you guys are going for mini golf and then getting food afterwards or something. I don't know. A date that requires more effort, more planning, more time, it's showing that he's already putting more effort into the relationship. He's already showing that he's putting effort into getting to know you and that he's trying to impress you. Now, here's why it's such a big deal. Because in the beginning of a relationship is when a man is trying to impress you the hardest. If he's not trying to impress you, he does not think very highly of you, period. If he is trying to impress you, if he's pulling out all the stops, if he's, you know, doing all this effort planning and making sure that he's picking a place that you would actually like and all of that stuff, that shows that he is trying to impress you, which means that he likes you. He thinks highly of you. He thinks that you are worth getting to know. He wants you to like him back, which is why he's making all this effort. If it's a coffee date, it could go either way. I, there's not much, you know, on the table. He's not really investing much of his time or energy. So if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There's not a lot of skin in the game for him. And if you like coffee dates, it might also show that you don't want to put in a lot of effort into the relationship either because I know that every time I have gone on dinner dates, I make sure to get my nails done, I do my hair and makeup really nicely, I pick a really cute outfit, like we're going out to dinner, I want to look cute. Versus a coffee date, it's like he didn't put much planning into it, why am I going to put much planning to it? Like I'm going to wear jeans and a t-shirt with some sneakers, like it's just coffee. And if I'm agreeing to that, I'm probably not feeling very serious about him either. So if you want to distinguish low effort men from high effort men, men who are likely going to be dusty throughout the course of your relationship and not put a whole lot of effort, not have a lot of skin in the game versus the men who are going to make a lot of effort, just look at the kind of dates that he's taking you on. Low effort men speak the same language. I, I, I promise you, they speak the same language. When your standards are high, you will know right away a low effort man. Good morning, beautiful. They all say the same thing. Good morning, beautiful. What you doing, beautiful? Send me a pic, beautiful. What you wearing, beautiful? What you got on, beautiful? Same thing. Where's the money? Where's the money, brokey? Oh, you don't have it. I forgot. Bye. Have a good night. 
You know what is my number one turnoff of all time ever? And I literally had to tell a guy this the other day. Low effort is the number one turnoff. Like when you are truly emotionally available and mature and ready to commit, the games are such a turnoff. Like when you're emotionally unavailable and like kind of immature, I've been there, I get it, no judgment. But like you kind of like the games, you kind of like the roller coaster. Like, oh my God, when's he gonna text me? Oh my God, does he like me? Oh my God, he's gone. Oh, no, I wanna be so damn bored in the dating process that you are so predictable that I know you're gonna text me, I know you're gonna call me, I know you're gonna ask me on another date, I know you wanna see me again, I know you like me, I know you're gonna be there for me. I wanna be so bored because I know that you're not going anywhere. And so anything less than that, if you're expecting me to plan the dates if you're expecting me to reach out to you if you're expecting me if you no low effort big turn off and I get it some women like the chase they're turned on by I am absolutely not show me you like me I'm turned on show me you're gonna put an effort I'm turned on anything less than that I am out man is going to offer to pay for your meals oh to pay for your transports you see the woman going don't worry I have it now clearly this is the first day so the man will be like okay the next time he's not going to try to put much effort so most times is the woman that causes a man to not put effort in trying to please you or trying to do things for you because you want to be an independent woman and later like you start complaining he's not trying he's low effort man why you're the cause why some goes for those they know that have low self-esteem that they know that is not going to ask them for money they might even start asking the woman for money so that she's not going to like feel they have money so those people just leave them. So the women that try to be over independent, please stop it. Sometimes you're the one that is making the men not to make efforts to please you or to do things for you.